Hello everyone. Today I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about an issue you might be having if you're using this DJI FPV radio with a flight simulator. So the issue that I've noticed and that a lot of other people have also complained about and mentioned and commented on one of my other videos is that when you've got this DJI FPV radio connected with the USB port down there at the bottom to your computer and you're using it in a flight simulator, in, the, in my example here I'm using the Curry Kitten one, but it, I, I believe this happens in lots of flight simulators, maybe all of them. You'll notice if I move the throttle up and down gently, everything's good. But if I go all the way to the top and give it just a little extra push, you'll see that the throttle position in the game flips all the way over down to the bottom. Um, I don't seem to have that problem on yaw. That one seems fine. Uh, I do have the problem on pitch. If I give it a good push up and push down, it'll flip up to the top. And my roll to the so to the left side there doesn't seem to have a problem. But if I roll to the right, I don't even have to give it much. I don't even have to hit the end and it flips all the way around. Um, I have no idea why this happens or what is causing it. But I can also show you that it happens in other flight simulators like liftoff. Okay, so here I am in liftoff, looking at the controller settings, and you can see that it's detected the DJI FPV remote controller, and it's asking if it's uh, behaving properly. And if I'm nice and gentle on the sticks, everything looks good, but if I push up a little bit harder, you can see the, the drone just jumps down to the bottom really quickly. So it has the exact same issue. And if I go through and calibrate the sticks, it seems to stay that way no matter what I do. The only fix that I have found for this so far is to switch from using this USB cable to using the that little headphone jack, the mini connection there. Is, I think it's called the PPM connection. I just happen to have one of these PPM adapters that has a USB port on one side and it's got the mini little headphone style is that a 2.5 millimeter connection there on the other end so i plug let's see let's disconnect this radio dji is disconnected i'll plug in this other connector here then i gotta plug this usb port into my computer and you'll see it says ppm de detected and now, no matter how hard I push up on that stick, no problems. It doesn't jump at all. And I can do the same thing here. Push hard, no issues. So right now, that's the only fix I know of is to switch to the PPM cable. But as you can see here, the PPM cable is kind of noisy and jittery. It's not as solid, it's not a digital connection in the same sense that that USB-C cable is. So yeah, I definitely see why people would prefer the USB connection. Um, it's not really a big issue for me because when I fly, I don't tend to push the sticks that hard up to the top where I would end up causing that to happen. I just sort of fly much more gentle. I'm sure other people have a big issue with that, and that would really hamper your flying or your training. So the only solution I have for now is to get yourself one of those, like it's like a $10 USB to PPM adapter. If anybody out there has any other ideas, is there some way you can trim that out or modify it or fix it in some flight simulators? Uh, if there are any that work better, if you know how to do that, please let me know. Send a note down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.